Now getting to Harborview Campground throws some GPSs for a loop. If your GPS is sending you from Bowie to Evergreen to Pine to Ebb Tide Drive, just so you know, Evergreen Drive is dirt. When you get on the Pine, it's dirt. And when you get to the end of Pine to turn on to Ebb Tide, it's a tight turn and the road is narrow. So if you are extremely long, it's going to be hard getting around. Check this out. But if you get through that, it's down on your left-hand side. Now, for those of you who don't want a four-wheel drive with your RV, just take Bowie all the way to Ebb Tide Drive and just go down. It's paved the whole way. The turns are nice and easy and you'll be a lot happier. Trust us. Welcome to Harbor View Campground. Yes, it is part of the Thousand Trails and we are here in Colonial Beach, Virginia. The entrance goes this way. To the right is the campground. To the left is storage. And everywhere you can see, there's just vast room for expansion here. Harbor View has 77 acres of land. Let's go show you around. Once you pull down the road, you're going to come to this giant parking lot, pull in, and go into the office and check in. Now, if you're in a motorhome with a toad, they will ask you to disconnect the toad first. And once you're done, you will follow them in their golf cart out to your campsite. And the sites are assigned here. They're not first come, first serve. As we look at the building, the office is on the left, and the rec room is on the right, but it's being remodeled. So from the office, if we pan to the right, there's a place to park dollies. Dumpsters. They do not recycle here, so it all goes in the same one. And there is a giant field over here. Yeah, yeah, part of that 77 acres that are not being used, but there is plans in the works to put a circle road in there and then have a bunch of pull throughs in the center. Now, in case you're wondering what that little building in that tank is, that's the water that gets pumped through the park. I swear to God, you could land a plane here if you wanted to. Huh? You could. <laughs> and they used to. That used to be a runway. Back in the 60s, this was quite the place. Yes, you could land your plane right here. And today, the dogs get to play there. So when they bring you to your campsite, you're going to come up to the stop sign and you're going to either be to the right or to the left. Yep, because all the campsites are across the street. <laughs> and we are on the left. And this is the office where you will be checking in. This is the small rec room that they have right now. And off the rec room is laundry. They have three dryers and three washers and an ironing board. Let's check out the restrooms. Toilets. It smells very bleachy in here. <laughs> Showers. And this one's a huge shower, handicapped shower. it's fall. This is the pool area. The pool looks huge. Yeah, too bad. I'd really like to see this pool. Yeah. Maybe when we're on, on our way back. Mm. And Sometime. there's a kiddie pool too. Next to the office is a playground and an ice machine. They have shuffleboard, tetherball, 
miniature golf and checkers. The miniature golf has brand new carpeting on it. And check out the uh, base, the flooring on it. Hot plastic, very cool to step on. And there's basketball down at that end. Oh, and by the way, yes, we did play checkers. Check it out. <laughs> I got dusted. <laughs> and this is one of the little ponds on the property. And you can fish in here. Because there's somebody fishing down there. Here is a view of the water. This is Maddox Creek that goes right out to the Potomac River. And over here is Steps Harbor View Marina. Now, in case you're wondering if it's a coincidence that the marina and the campground have the same name, it's not. The campground used to own the marina. And we were told they even have five or six slips down there. Now, and could you imagine landing your plane over there on the runway, walking over to the camper, relaxing a little bit, have something to eat, then take a stroll over to the marina, get in your boat, and take off to the Potomac? <laughs> now, that's glamping. <laughs> And now, courtesy of Stone the Drone, a pan of the left-hand side of the campground so you can see some of the sites. Let's move in and take a closer look at some of those sites. Now, here is a shot of some of the campsites to the right of the office. You can see they are very, very wide. And most of the sites are under, really get trees around them, right? Until they build that road over on the runway. Yep. This is one of the samples of a site. Pretty big sites here. Yep. The road is narrow, but the sites are wide. You can see how much space is in between the campers. That's a ton of room. Mm. Now you see the road. It's a little bit narrow, but we were able to get Maggie in without a problem. And this is our site. It's huge. Yes, extremely wide sites here, considering the size of the road. <laughs> it's back to back, but where can you park your vehicle in your site next to the RV and still have a place to hang out? Yeah, and every site has a cement pad too. So we didn't even need to use the whole rug this time. Nope. And this is the back end of the park. Yeah, and once again, every site is full hookups with 20, 30, and 50 amp service. Matter of fact, they just converted everything to 50 amp this year. And we have a dumpster. Horseshoes. A pavilion. And a comfort station. Let's go check it out. On second thought, we're not going to be able to show them. <laughs> <laughs> One of the nice things about this time of year, I mean, they're, as they get ready to close, no one's here. We're closing down campgrounds. Yep. Now, before we end the video on Harbor View, we just wanted to let you know, of course, there are a thousand trails, but they also accept Passport America if you want to stay there. They have 144 sites, and they can accommodate a 45-foot rink. They have pavement on their two main roads. Sort of. There's, there's some potholes. <laughs> the rest are gravel throughout the park. The sites are gravel and grass, and they do have that nice cement pad. Which was very cool. That was very cool. <laughs> Never seen that one before. As far as free TV goes, they do not offer any kind of cable. As, as usual, we checked our over-the-air antenna, and we really checked it. We got nothing. Zip nada. <laughs> they don't offer any free Wi-Fi, but we didn't need it anyways. No, we haven't used Wi-Fi in over two months now. As far as packages go... <laughs> They don't accept any mail or packages. Now this changed two days into our trip there. We asked when we got there, they said yes, they, ought, they accept packages, but two days later they said no, we don't. So we're just going to leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> now as far as the AT&T versus Verizon battle goes, just a smidgen, again, Verizon won. Teeny tiny. I understand what we're saying. They both worked. It's just, Cheryl had one line more than I did, but it didn't stop my phone from doing anything. There was really no difference. <laughs> Now, it will cost you $44 a night to stay in this campground. Those of you who have been following us since we became Thousand Trails members know that we are keeping a run and tally on how much money we would have spent at these campgrounds had we not been Thousand Trails members. Because we show up, we camp, we leave. No money is exchanged whatsoever. So up until we left Harbor View that very last day, we would have spent 
$3,309 in campground fees. We spent $52.68. That, that includes our membership, our uh, dues, and trails collection. So you subtract the $3,309 from that, and that's how far we have to go to break even. The way that we have it figured out, come January, right, babe? Yes. We're going to break even, meaning that we will have spent the $52.68 in campgrounds. Okay, so it becomes a wash then. We still have nine months left on our membership. <laughs> we understand it's not for everyone. We're full time, and for us, that is a no brainer. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> now, the last thing is if you're going to go there, it's a great place for history buffs. If you love history, there's tons of it. Also, for homeschoolers, I was just going to bring that up because <laughs> we have met a lot of campers who are homeschooling their children. There's a lots of places to take them to see to get their schooling activities in. Yeah, there's all sorts of battlefields that had happened during the Civil War. There's the, uh, where George Washington Washington, George Washington was born, uh, James, James Monroe. Um, there were so many different history things there. Now, when I was a kid, instead of sitting in a classroom, having a teacher read that to me, if I could have actually gone out and seen this stuff, I would have been a lot better at history. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that is our review on Harbor View. That's right. That's not too bad. <laughs> so, if you like what you saw, I would appreciate that thumbs up as always. You want to become part of the Grown Get Gone With Us gang? Right down there in the comments. Click there and you will be in. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them right down below. Or you could just say hi, because we will say hi back. <laughs> <laughs> Took my line. We always do. <laughs> so, until the next video, I'm Chuck. And I'm Cheryl. We'll get going with us. Bye. Bye.